speed. Sound production, take one. Hey, what's good guys? It's your boy G Marcus TV. Back with a brand new video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Especially if you're a new watcher, definitely subscribe to the channel and definitely give me feedback. I appreciate all feedback, everything. Of course, you know, like but from the title, we were doing an episode review on Run the World. This episode is episode number seven, and this one is called What You Wish For. Definitely better than the last episode and really feeling this one right here. Of course, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys know that I do a recap, and then I give what I like about the episode. So the episode starts off at Sonny and the professor, they just had a play with the professor's daughter and they're just chilling, you know, watching the play or whatever and they're just talking and the daughter is just like, yo, like chill, like what's going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the kid's really into the play and they're just like, yo, did you deal with anybody else inside the school? And he just like, he was one chick that was like really flirtatious with him, but nothing really happened with that. So she's just looking at him like, huh? Nice little decent scene. So now, Sandy and the daughter, which is, mind you, is not Sandy's daughter, it's the professor's daughter. They're like walking around or whatever, you know, she's chilling with her, and then they see the professor at a cafe. So the kid sells him out. The kid goes like, oh, I thought daddy went to work. I thought he was at work. And then she's like, yeah, daddy's at work. She's like, no, he's not. Like this. So she points and he's right by the window of the cafe. So I'm going to say right now, he's giving some f***ing advice right now, some real f I think that is gonna be a crazy finale way he did some like I'm really like I think that's what's gonna happen so she gets on his later on and she's like yo why does it feel like I'm married with a kid when I'm not married with a kid like I'm taking care of your kid I'm cleaning the house get the house she left the house like whatever so I'm cleaning your house taking care of your kid like what's going on here like what's going on and he's just like he's trying to like basically like you know like just chill it's not that serious whatever the case is and she's just looking at him like dude what's going on I moved in with you things almost get better not worse so it cuts to Ella, she goes to a nice little jazz club. Uh, but, uh, it just seems like this character, it seems to be like a Hollywood recruiter, like she gets actors or something like that. Like she recruits people. But the thing that's so funny about this character, I actually know this person. I actually know the actress that plays her, which is actually funny. I was like, wow. We used to go to the same church. Blue to her. They had the jazz club, they did the kicking it, they vibing. You know, Ella's there, she's there, and then the actor is there. Like that was her client, Amon's client. He shows his wife pregnant. So I was like, okay, so you're is all like oh that's nice that's beautiful he goes to the bathroom so they continue talking and then the iman character like like ella said oh i love black men and iman just goes like yo miss me with that lovey w like you know that? and she's just looking at her like ella's looking at her like yo what's going on and she's just like i've not dated since the obama era so i'm not sure it seems like she's not into men it seems like she's into women but i'm not sure so ella goes to the bathroom she tries to get in the woman's bathroom whatever so she's hearing moans crazy moaning sounds so she's like what the hell so girl comes out the bathroom of course she was just getting her ass beat the ass. like you know what i'm saying like somebody was putting in some work in the bathroom comes out like a little crazy with the hair and all that stuff comes out and who comes out after emmett which is the actor the actor guy he comes out right after the girl she looks at him like you low down dirty dog and he looks at her like oh damn mind you this is like an industry type of event it's like eight or nine people there and remind you she works as an editor ella works as an editor you know she gives tea and stuff like that so she just goes like so she talks to her boss and like yo like guess what i just seen so she told her what happened or whatever how he was just so happy that he was his wife pregnant with his kid and the boss is like nah yo put that story out so she was like hesitant she wasn't too sure but the boss like nah you gotta put that out before somebody with 12 followers find out about it and put that out like nah you gotta put that out so of course she puts it out so Ella goes back home. She's like, it's a horrible, distasteful sex scene. She has to do. He's basically hitting it from the back. And she's bringing up the guy. The guy's name is Emmett, which is the guy that got caught cheating. So Emmett, she's like, yo, should I do it? Should I not do it? So the guy that's smashing, he's just like, yo, you really want to talk about this while we're doing this? And she's like, nah, you know, she's really trying to figure it out. And he's like, yo, I don't give a damn who he's screwing. I'm worried about right now. But he basically just stopped pumping or whatever. So he basically just pulls out or whatever. Basically bounce. He just leaves her there naked in the bed but i would have did the same thing i mean no what you guys would do would you have walked out or would you have just like shut her up and just kept putting in the work like what would happen like that was just a real like it was good writing but the sex scene was just trash so cuts to another scene so renee goes to a bar basically turned into my favorite character on the show shout out to renee she goes to a bar she's basically telling like you know her stresses or whatever like how she's basically that like, she has to pay the bills and all that stuff by herself getting divorced by a dude her co-worker just goes like oh well you know i went through something like that before where like, we had to sell the hamptons apart and she was like, and which was I did not like this scene. Like, well, I'm not into this white privilege bullshit. 
Like, I'm not with that. This, we gonna do some real stuff here. I'm just like, that wasn't really a nice thing to say for someone that's trying to comfort you or whatever. Wasn't really cool. I was not feeling that scene, but she basically says she's not into white privileged things. So, Renee runs into, she runs into her old friend at the bar and they get all crazy, excited to see each other. Like, ah! You know, like that type of stuff. Excited to see each other, ran to a friend, so they started having the drinks together. Nice little cool scene. They started talking about business and stuff like that. She was gonna do like a meeting where they was gonna discuss like if she was gonna get a job, if she was gonna get a promotion or not. So we'll get to that later. I just didn't like, I don't know, something about it. The writers, I didn't like how they made it. They kind of seemed like, I like how the, the writing was. The white prisoners part and then the, I was like, come on. Like it was like kind of extra. So cut to the next scene, so now it's Ella and it's Renee, they're at another bar and this bar was dope, like I love how they shoot in New York, I love how they make New York look, they're showing the good parts in New York, but they go to a nice place in New York or whatever, they have a bar, they're just drinking whatever, then Ella runs into Iman and she is pissed, Iman is pissed, like yo, why would you put that story out that he's sleeping around his wife, why would you do that? So she doesn't know what to really say, she's like yo, there was only 8 people in the restaurant, like come on, why would you do that, it's like this bad, and then so they Basically, the dude Emmett dropped Iman. So she was like, I will not invite you to no more events again. That's it. So he, she cut off. She's like, oh, come on. I'll buy you a drink and buy you some dinner. Da, 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 trying to buy her way. So you can't buy me. She was like, no. And then she kept the real. She's like, yo, I'm about to shit on you to everybody I meet. Every person in the industry, I'm about to shit on you. If you heard that I shit you, yes. So it comes in now, so Renee is at the meeting. They're at the meeting, so she does not get the promotion that she wants. So they did this scene to me so stupid. They just made her look like a real stupid It was just like, it was just unrealistic. I don't know if it was the acting or the right, I don't know what it was, but it was just terrible. So they just made it to where it's just like, oh, well, she didn't get the promotion, so she starts going off. She says like, oh, I forgot the name that she used, but I think it was like White Mike or something like that. She said, oh, well, I work better than White Mike. I work more hours and this and that. Like, I'm smarter. Like, I was just like, why would you talk like that? That's racist. Like, why are you guys doing that? But it was disgusting. Like, she just caused the whole scene, stood up, and she had quit. So he's like, why would you want to quit? That's what the boss said. Why, why would you quit? He's like, no, I'm done. Cause I'm smart at all you guys here. And then her co-worker quit too, but it was just terrible. It, was, it could have been a way better scene. If I get a second season, I need y'all to like really like write better because that part right there, it didn't have to be like that. She even said black lives matter. I'm like, what the hell? Like, what? Like, comment down below if you agree that that was a shit part. Like, they should never put that. Like, that was just like stereotype. Whitney and the husband they go to see like I don't know I guess a marriage counselor or therapist or whatever So the marriage counselor they made him goofy too, which I didn't understand I was like why are you guys doing this to these people like made him look a little stupid his teeth was mad yellow So Whitney just be she just says like well, you know, we're good I'm good over here and the husband kept the real like feels the distance from her and then she gets defensive like really defensive Like no, I have a wedding to do I have one thing so of course I'm gonna be busy or whatever But she was just being defensive being a like for no, I'm just like, damn, this good freaking guy. You really gonna act that way towards him? He's like, no, baby, I just want more of you. And she was just nasty. Good scene. I like the scene. But I'm just saying, like, damn, Whitney, that wasn't cool. Like the dude even said, yo, I love your flaws. Like he was like really a nice guy, and she was just digging into him. I was not feeling it. Like uh, just because I'm not saving lives does not mean I don't have a real job. Because you know, of course, he's a doctor. I was like, damn, she really dug into him. So it comes to the next scene. So she's getting ready to go to a bachelor party. She goes to Sandy's house. She's like, I need to talk to somebody that's in an adult relationship. She go to Sandy's house and Sandy did not know that she had sex with the community guy. She was really confused, which is like, damn, I hate friendships like this. That's why I hate big groups. Comment down below if you like big groups or small groups. That's why I'm not a big fan of big group things. Cause she's just like, yo, like, you should tell the dude what's going on. She's like, well, I don't want to break his heart and whatnot. I still want to get married, but I don't know if I should tell him, but it was eating her alive. So by the way, Sandy kept the original apartment. You know, she's gonna still go to dude's house, you know, the professor, but she decided to keep the apartment that she has not give it away. She just said, yo, get your mind together, whatever. So she left her there in the apartment. Whitney's just stressed out or whatever. Her husband knocks on the door and they're looking at each other and he's just like, hey. They're looking at each other and just like, then next thing you know, it just cuts and it says to be continued. I'm just like, what the? I would say that this episode was definitely a good episode. I was really feeling it. I just did not feel how they made Renee look stupid, like a clue, like a fool. Like, so it was a good episode. It was, it was better. They definitely made up for the last one. Comment down below. Tell me if you looked at the episode. Tell me if you're gonna watch it. Tell me like what you thought about the episode tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for my core audience, my new subscribers. Thank you guys for everybody that supports me. Love you guys to death. Please follow me on G Marcus TV. Holla at your boy. DM me. Let me know how you feel. Topics you like me to address what you would like to see on my channel what I should be doing better of right now I'm working on this intro tell me if you guys like the intro let me know what's up it's your boy G Marcus TV signing off